In Seattle, we have a woman who was found dead at a homeless encampment off the Mercer Street exit off I-5. Her case is the latest example of a broken support system for the most vulnerable residents in Washington. And still, a region-wide plan to address our homeless crisis is a tough sell for local governments. Fox 13's Frankie Thompson is in Seattle with more. Frankie. The woman found dead at the encampment last night is believed to be in her 50s or 60s. Right now, Seattle police are investigating this as a suspicious death. It's also sparking a much larger conversation about addressing homelessness in this area. The suspicious death at this homeless encampment in Seattle's South Lake Union is the latest concern and frustration for people who live near it. We don't really walk around after night in this particular part of SLU. There's just garbage that kind of spills out everywhere over to the road. Some neighbors are asking to keep their identities private because they say the activities surrounding this camp and nearby alleys is getting dangerous. The homeless population that have kind of congregated here and they, they go through our recycling and our trash bit, you know, dumpsters. Neighbors say the issues surrounding this encampment have been growing for some time. In fact, Fox 13 has been tracking this spot since February and even then people expressing their outrage and worries. A lot of police, um, a lot of the fire department goes next door. Sometimes it could be at least four to five times a day, but it's daily. But it's like, even when we do call them and tell them something, they don't do anything. So the people that are doing the damages are just getting away with it. This encampment is on the right of way of I-5, owned and operated by Washington State Department of Transportation. Unlike the much publicized response to the Ship Canal Bridge and the CID camp removals, people are starting to question when Washed Up will clear out this one. But when it comes to cleaning and restoring the space, Washed Up says it has limited responsibility and expertise, saying in a statement, as such, we must rely on our partnerships with local jurisdictions, law enforcement, and social services when addressing any area with an encampment. And the overarching need is for creation of safe, secure housing options for people experiencing homelessness, which is well beyond the expertise, ability, or funding of a transportation agency. While Washtut would be doing the cleanup, relocating people from the camp would need to go through the King County Regional Homeless Authority, which has been struggling to find permanent living places for campers. The KCRHA is in the midst of formalizing a massive five-year, $12 billion plan to address housing and support needs throughout the region. But the draft proposal got an underwhelming response when KCRHA representatives presented it today to the King County Council with members there asking for more specifics on how all the money will be spent. We're going to have to, and we're going to have to, you know, be able to look at the public and, and tell them what they're going to get for it. There are still no specifics on how this KCRHA plan will be funded. Members told the county council they will get back to them on those specific details before a final vote on the plan next month. Reporting in Seattle, Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News.